check, mindset, conscious. Mona King, got that magic. It's time for the dope dichotomy. Damn, JV, you made this beat. It's time for the dope dichotomy. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Welcome to the Dope Academy podcast. We humbly apologize for being late today. We were having a little bit of technical issues. You know how it, it was goes. My fault. You know how it goes when it comes to <laughs> technology. It was just not cooperating with us the way that we needed it to. So we apologize for that. But thank you guys for being with us today. Hey, hey, I gotta yeah. remember the cameras up there. I was looking all down. <laughs> hey y'all. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, and it's me, Sin Living. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see y'all again. Hey. <laughs> to my left, I have the wonderful co host, Sin Living. Hey. 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 Sorry, I was a little thrown off <laughs> there. And to my right, it is Mr. Superstar, aka Cedric. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out, EK, our engineer. Shout out, EK, our EK, engineer. EK. Yes. And we're going to start the episode off with a shot. Let's go. All righty. Yeah, so a good show. To a good, to show. A good show. And many more to come. Hey. Mind me, I'm a little horse. Mm. Nah, Cedric, we didn't know that at all. Gotta hit that button. Woo. Cedric, why are you horse? <sighs> They say when you don't get rest, uh, well, my grandma told me this today, <laughs> when you don't get enough rest, it affects your organs in your body. Mm -hmm. So one of my organs is my lovely voice. And why are you not getting enough rest, sir? Man, I've been so busy. I did a photo. Oh, photo. Uh, <laughs> I did a photo. <laughs> a fashion show this weekend in D.C., uh, shout out to all y'all, beauty is pain. Yeah. Um, and uh, did a lot to do that. Dress rehearsals Friday, Saturday was photo shoot, Sunday had to chill with the kids, took them to the baseball game. Fredericksburg up here, shout out to the baseball team up there. Hey, shout yeah. out, hey, yeah. did they win? No, okay, <laughs> <laughs> it was a good game though. All right, that's what's up. <laughs> how about y'all? What y'all do this weekend? Um, this weekend we chilled. We had a really eventful last weekend. Yeah. Yeah. We went to the 757 last weekend. Yes. Oh, y'all turned up? Yeah. Well, yeah. we got to have some fried crabs, so. Ooh. Yeah, we had fried crabs and a cookout. So, yeah, we had a fried crabs the one day, and then we woke up to mm. a cookout. Mm. And we had, like, fried corn on the grill. Fried cabbage on the grill. Fried yeah. cabbage on oh. the grill. Well, I guess it's not fried, it's grilled cabbage. Well, grilled. Grill. Yeah. 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 yeah, I still oh, said yeah. fried cabbage. Yeah. 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 I, I, said fried fried ca <laughs> I said fried corn on the grill. But you know what I mean? That sweet corn, that sweet corn on the grill, that was good. And that, uh, the grilled cabbage was real good, the way my mom did that. And we I had shish kebab. Shish mm. kebab, hamburgers, oh. hot dogs. Did y'all help cook anything? Um, no, that was the best part. Yeah, that was the best that's, part. That's all and didn't part. have to wash no dishes. And there mm. was margaritas. Mm. Yeah, I helped yeah. Prep, prep, I think, the cabbage or something. I helped, I helped prep something. Something no, small. No, you made the steak and cheese sandwiches the next day. The next day. Oh, that's what it yes. was. Okay. That day, the cookout day. No, I prepped the corn. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I did the corn in, in the little package. Well, you know, that's what I, I did. I definitely... No. But when it's time for that, she gets she makes sure she gets ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> she makes sure she gets ghosts. I'll be the tester. You know, if you need to know what it need, I'm like, yeah, I need a little sugar. <laughs> so this episode, I decided to name State of the Culture because there's a lot going on. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So we're just going to talk about some big stories, kind of big things, and just some things with some topics, just to see where everybody's head is at because we've missed some episodes. So it was some weeks because we've been doing um, Mother's Day. We had a death in the family. Mm -hmm. So we, thank, thank you. you. So we had to, you know, take some time off. But now we're back. Yeah, we're we are too. bye. We back, yeah, baby. We back. Hey. We back. We are, baby. We already know. So we thank y'all for rocking with us, for real, for real. But first of all, first order on the ducket. Ready for this. First order on the ducket. Is Kendrick Lamar. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, Kendrick Lamar, if you've been living under a rock, 
battled Drake and annihilated him. I don't care what you say. I don't give a fuck if you think <laughs> that Drake won because you're wrong. <laughs> You don't, okay. know hip-hop. you don't know hip hop <laughs> at this point. I mean, in the beginning, when y'all wanted to debate it, we let you debate it. At this, if you still think today <laughs> that Drake won, there ain't nothing we can do for him. Uh-uh. There's nothing you, we can do. You we you mentally checked out. At even that. EK, even our engineer yes. understands what happened. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, we we walked in today. You started talking about Drake and Drake's lyrics being suspect because he does have some suspect. They are lyrics. not aging well. They're not mm-hmm. aging They're well. They're not mm-hmm. aging well. Yeah, just like the girls he messes around with. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, Drake. I heard you like him young. <laughs> hey, hey. Shots Look, fired. This track's gonna come out about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, just to give you the cliff notes on what happened, they started beefing. J. Cole dropped out because he didn't want to get too mean and messy. So, Drake and Kendrick Lamar went at it. They, they both dropped a lot of music, a lot of good quality music. Mm-hmm. We have to hand it to them on that. But then Kendrick Lamar... He went to go see someone called DJ Mustard. <laughs> mm. What'd he do? And when he went to go see DJ Mustard, he got a crazy beat and he made a bop and it's called They Not Like Us. <laughs> okay? Yeah, what that yeah, song yeah. did was it made a diss track for Drake, but it is a bop, so everyone is singing it. I have a video where you can see that everybody's making up making up dances, it's a TikTok special, all that good mm-hmm. stuff. We're gonna put that for you, just so you can see it. Like they not us. like us. Look at this. They not like Imagine us. Imagine beeping they not and like seeing, us. seeing somebody beeping like at you and dancing all over the place. <laughs> they not like us. Okay. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. Imagine that. Imagine you beefing with somebody and you got five million people on the internet making dances with you. Man, damn, call out Lambs. Tell them beef, bro. Now the nigga to the cross, he walk around like T-Bro. What's up with these pony ass niggas trying to see comp? Ah, ah. Virginia, Virginia Beach. Don't look like yeah, Virginia Beach. Like <laughs> look at this. That shit is crazy. He is fucking it up right there. He can't tell. Yes. All right, EK, you can stop that. But pretty much, Kendrick won. Okay, and it's the song is still going to this day. Everybody's singing it. I was just sitting in here going talk about. Fan, fan, fan. Freaky ass nigga, he a 6'9 God. Freaky <laughs> ass nigga, he a 6'9 God. Okay? The song is dope. But my question is, because that happened, as far as hip-hop goes, in the state of hip-hop, and we kind of need one, is Kendrick Lamar the new king? Or does that not have anything to do with who's the king? I'm, I'm gonna be real. I feel like, okay, so... Technically... Kendrick beat Kendrick beat Drake, mm-hmm. but Kendrick people even though people fuck with Kendrick and Kendrick's pen is respected, these kids is not paying Kendrick no money. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. And to be king, everybody has to fuck with you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not coming against his pen. He definitely won in that beef. Definitely. But I don't think he and in a way he did bring Drake to light a little bit more. Yeah. So I feel like a. The kids are still on Drake because that's that's, mm, that's what they what they grew up with them. That's mm. that's where they're gonna be at. But it did bring to light, I think, more on the older generation. And they're like, something right with that little nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's I, I I appreciate that part. So I'm glad that it in a way kind of dethroned Drake. Mm. Mm, I I agree with that yeah. wholeheartedly. Like I feel like um. Just like you said, like by far Kendrick won by mm-hmm. far, like landslide. But um, I don't. I can't put him as king, like uh, of the rap game. Reasons why, like, even with the, him winning, Drake still got thirteen number ones. Yeah. Like, and I'm not even putting Drake as the king. I don't. I don't. Yeah. yeah he was he, never king. Yeah. For me. But he was Free, yeah, a nigga. great artist. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Putting number ones out there. But is there a king in hip hop right now? That's from, that was my next question. If you're not going to put Drake as the king, is there a king? I don't think it is. I don't. And why not? There's, because the state of hip hop right now, the yeah, state of and our culture. Also, there's no one consistently top. That was that was Drake. That was, that was Drake. You know what I'm saying? But I don't consider him a king though. I, st- I 
Okay, now me, I'm not, I, I've always never wanted to be a Drake hater, you know what I'm saying? Like but a, I'm never not going to see Jimmy, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, it's, he's always going to be Jimmy for me, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it takes, that's all I see, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I see when I see Drake, but I respect him for being consistent for so long. Mm -hmm. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> <He's> <laughs> <laughs> but I do respect him for, you know, being consistent for so long. Right. You know what I'm saying? But as in Drake being king, he is, he has the most number ones and mm -hmm. he did beat Mike Jack. Tied. So. He's tired. You said what? They tied. They tied. I thought, I thought, I thought he, he beat, beat him. him. He beat, he beat him. him. You might need to Google it, Cedric. Yeah, but one of his number ones wasn't really a number one. Like, it wasn't his song. It was like he's attached to it. But uh, none of his music is his song. None of it. He wrote none of it. None of it. He's even a fan, his beef. He's a fan. He's a even fan. his beefs have ten writers. True. On Very every. True. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's why I. That's why I'm confused with the Drake conversation because it's like, how can he be considered great and hitting all these number ones when you got Yachty and who else and whoever else mm -hmm. writing for you? Mm -hmm. But then you got your Kendricks, your J. Coles, your Lil Wayne's. Your... Shit, Nas is, what, 75 and still writing his own music. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't see nobody as a king right now. But I just, I can't put Kendrick as the king, though. No. I mean, even though, just like you said, bars, A1, pen game is like that. Yeah. And he gives you different levels, changes up. Like, he's a he great, great, great artist. I just, as king, no. He is one of the biggest niggas on the playground right CJ now. CJ Wade said facts of what you were saying. Hey, yeah. Thanks yeah. for tuning in, for sure. What's up, CJ? I can sprinkle some Salt Bay on this. Okay, uh -oh, sprinkle okay. some Salt Bay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw six names out. Okay. Okay, six and names. These are people... These are people that across multiple criteria would qualify king of hip hop all time. Okay. All, all time. time or right okay. now? All time. Okay. okay. Based based on multiple criteria, sales, popularity, fan votes, things like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Six names. Okay. Tupac. 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 Yes. King. Rakim. Rakim. King. Rakim. Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Yeah. King. Eminem. Mm. Definitely not King. <laughs> Eminem Wayne. not King. King. No way. And Kendrick. Now this is all based That's on... That's also see, because of the numbers. beef too. Those yeah, are based, based on, on legacy. Numbers. It's based on fan uh, response. Uh, it, there's a bunch of criteria that they use for this list. Yeah. I Okay, now... All time King, I can see any of those being all time King because it's really subjective. But king right now. Yeah, king right we now. We don't have a king. We don't. We don't. That's and I'm I mean. I'm kind of iffy with the Jay Z thing. Even Jay though I respect Jay Z is Jay -Z. on a Mount Rushmore. I respect him. Again, I respect and so is Eminem. About... I have to give it to he's on a Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Jay Z and yes, Eminem are both on this list, and you gotta consider the reason they're on this list. They're not making music as much as they used to do, but the moves that they make in business and industry are huge. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, they're Hard still movie. involved in the and industry. The careers yeah. that they touch. Yeah, that's true. I just say that because if we really want to talk about it, it's more the the newer generation is more listening to Eminem than they are Jay Z. Definitely. Well, let me ask you a, a fun question to think about. What's up? If if one of these artists mm -hmm. was the king, if these six, who would that king be knighting? Who would that king be elevating? Who would that? It would be, be Tupac, elevating? and he would be elevating Kendrick Lamar. Right. Yeah. Big facts. Right. Uh, I, yeah. Hands down. Without a doubt. Yeah. Hands down. That's, big facts. Big facts. Hands down. Big facts. That was a fast answer. Big facts. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, all right so next we're gonna go to sexy red i have a couple of questions about sexy red but not the ones that you would think probably it is sexy so we're gonna go to this video ow, sexy ow, red ow. who is this white man that's zach i think his name is zach Bryan. he's a he's a country singer yeah <laughs> oh, for yeah, real? yeah. yeah. i've just Bryan? seen this no not luke Bryan. it's zach, zach something brown? no it's not zach brown man because i know who zach they are Bryan. it's zach what's this guy what you know his face ek I don't know. I don't recognize that. Now we need EK to Let me look it up. In case he's my friends. Yeah, his name is Zach Bryan. Bryan? Bryan? Yeah. You said Brown, I thought. No, I said Brian. He no, said I Zach said Brown. Brown. Oh, because okay. that Zach Brown band, I like them, so I know who that is. Okay. So Zach Bryan 
And Sexy Red has linked up, just like she's linked up with Lana Del Rey. And if you play a video, there's a video that she came out on stage with him and twerked on stage at a country concert, and everybody went crazy. They were pissed, mm. weren't they? They went crazy in the, in the crowd. The crowd sounded like it went crazy. I don't know. I'm sure they. Let's, I'm, let's take a look. I'm sure that they went. They said some things in the audience, but you know, it is what it is. Come on, sexy. Mm. She is so mm. lit. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. With the mm. taxis. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> With the oh no those. Those not the tag. Country music for some reason just got so much more entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's on purpose. This post baby. This post baby. Mm. She's definitely gotten thicker. <laughs> She's definitely. This is this is definitely on purpose. Sexy. All right, you can cut the video. It's repeating. <laughs> it's just repeating. So basically, <laughs> what I want to ask is, it you know, it looks like oh, she's so lit. She's so cool. She she looks like she's linking up with everybody. But when you look at it, her type of music, her type of image, what are they saying? Are they saying that this is this is the image that's acceptable? Because when have you ever seen country music embrace somebody like that? Mm -hmm. And why do they have to embrace somebody who who twerks and is known as being ratchet? Yeah. I mean, they well, was just dragging Beyonce through the mud. They were dragging Beyonce yeah. through the mud, but Sexy Red can come on stage and twerk. Is country music embracing her, or is this artist embracing her? Because Lil Nas X... It's not just country music, Bobby though. Ray. They're putting her with, with, with all types of different white artists. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so, they're, they're, they're putting her with different white artists. With that question you just asked, mm -hmm. are you asking it because you think she's an industry plant? I know she's an industry plant. Yeah, I, that's, <laughs> I feel like that's where that's going because it's like... I know she's an industry plant who does not know that she's, she's an industry, industry plant. She doesn't know yeah, she's one, yeah. but she definitely is an industry plant. Yeah, I can agree with that because it's like, just like you were saying, you're putting her with different white artists and she's not getting the backlash. If Beyonce is getting backlash for doing a whole country album, mm -hmm. not just a song, mm -hmm. not just a single, yeah. a whole album, she didn't do what uh, K. Michelle did. She didn't do what... Uh, uh, what was it, Lil Nas X? He yeah. could have did a whole album. He didn't do a whole album. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He switched lanes. Like uh, there's a whole lot of stuff that other artists didn't do that Beyonce did as in a whole album. Now you got Sexy Red up here. She don't even do no country music, no country artists, and you just putting her up here with white people. And she's being embraced, they accept it. And just... she's being embraced for it. She's being embraced for it. So is it is it them saying this is the image that we accept of you? We can't accept a classy image. We can mm -hmm. accept a ratchet image. Mm -hmm. It's just things that I think about on a, on a deeper level. Why? Like, why? What's the why behind it? They're propping her up against with everybody in hip-hop, of course, because she's an industry plant. But now now taking it to Lana Del Rey and Zach Bryan. Mm -hmm. Who is Lana? I'm sorry. Uh, is Lana Del Rey is, to be honest, Lana Del Rey makes more sense to me than this dude because Lana Del Rey makes... Sexy red music for white girls who are depressed. Really? Pretty much. That was the girl. The, she talks about fucking them and leaving them, but it, but it's in a sing song way. Is that the 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 lady that she was taking the pictures with with the I'm with sorry, the white dress? I, I mean to shoot. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to shoot at the camera. You know the song. <laughs> Will you still love me when I'm no longer young and beautiful? I know you will. Yeah, I don't no. know that song. And play your video game. Not and play your video games. <laughs> <laughs> blue jeans, blue jeans. You so fucking make my cream. Like no, no baby. Well, Lana Del Rey is a singer. Okay, sorry, I just didn't know who she was. But anyway, so do you think that Sexy Red is an industry plant? I think she's a good fucking time, man. Do you think she's an industry plant? I just think she's a good fucking time, man. No, I don't think she's a plant. I think she's a good fucking time, and I think people are eating off that she's hot right now. And I think, I think there's a lot of people who are hot. They do not eat off of of them like that. No, but it's just man, she gets the party going. <laughs> <laughs> she gets the people going. <laughs> but you do believe she's an industry yeah, plant, so you sure. understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I agree. It looks like a fun time, but it's detrimental to us. It's detrimental in the long, I, I in the long run. In the long run. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm looking at it like, what are they doing? What are they doing with her? And I, but, but I don't believe that she knows she's an industry plant. I don't yeah. believe she knows anything that she's doing. She doesn't know why they're putting her with Drake. They don't know any of that stuff. She's just being controlled. <clears throat> I do believe that there could be some message in between and behind it. But at the same time, 
You know what I'm saying? CJ Wade said she is indeed. She's part of propaganda wanting to be pushed. It's true. Yeah. And that's the propaganda that's that's acceptable. So why are we not saying anything? Why is that acceptable? But Beyonce being classy as a country person is not acceptable. <laughs> that don't make that makes no sense. Preach. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they booed her. They almost booed her off the stage when she sang um, "Guess" with Dixie Chicks. That was years ago. Yeah. At the Country Music Awards. No, you're right. But now Sexy Red can twerk on stage, and everybody's thinking that it's cool. I just. It's like yeah. they accept us as BAPS. Yeah, exactly. We can be BAPS, but we can't but be Michelle can't Obama. Be yeah, yeah, exactly. You can't be Michelle Obama over here. I don't want to make it too that. heavy. I'm just saying something to think about. It's just something to think about. And I like some of Sexy Red think stuff. That's, do you think that is also exacerbated by the fact that it's a female? No. No? Mm -hmm. I think that if a male artist entered the country world... Lil Nas X. Responded to, they didn't let yeah, him do that. It was responded to differently, though. Well, Lil Nas X is different. He came in and was trying... Well, I don't know if I was trying to disrupt the genre... But he brought something different to the genre that did disrupt it. Yeah. Um, but I feel like if another, if a rapper or a hip hop artist or an R&B artist came to came to country, I feel as a male they would have be received differently. I mean, they were the country. They world. received they received Nelly, but they received him with a long arm. They didn't receive him like Sexy Red. And Nelly had a hit. Cause it's all in together. my head. See, the the only thing, <laughs> the only difference is though, Sex Red doesn't make country music at all. Like at all. So it looks so, like something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, I was like, talking more on the Beyonce level. Oh, see, okay. in that country, if a if Kanye came out with mm -hmm. a con uh, with a he country hit or produced a, a country hit, but yeah, it would be fire. I feel like it would re be received better than Beyonce was. <laughs> now, why do you think that? Man. Because I feel the, like because the country, country is country male. Industry is more male dominated. Yeah. Um, and the women in country are a certain type of woman. Mm -hmm. So when you enter that uh, world and you present as something different than what they expect a woman to be, there is less of a reception. Whereas so why are they the accepting world, sexy red? Is my point. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. That's why I said it's being that's pushed. Why I said is it just this one artist or is it the industry? No, I, I think that's why I asked that question. Oh, I think I if it was saying. a guy, though, it would kind of be the same, honestly. I don't think they would just be open arms to be like, All right, you was just doing hip hop and RB, come on the country, we're just gonna open up our arms and you can come in. It, I don't think it would be that easy for a male. No, nah. mm -mm. I don't think so. <clears throat> I don't, I don't want to say easy, sexy red just has been around for years in a more positive yeah. way. Industry plant, you don't have to be new to be an industry plant. Sexy Red has been around for you. They, they, they go and pick you out of, of the ghetto, of you struggling with your music career and say, oh, this is the propaganda we need to push. We're going to grab you, and this is what we're going to do. I'm just Foxy saying, Brown, Kim, Trina, and all of them are I Sexy agree. Reds, too. Yeah, I was Laugh out loud. That. Yes, mm -hmm. but it's different when they prop you with other people when it's pushed with propaganda. The difference between Trina, Foxy Brown, Lil' Kim is we had Lauren Hill. We had other people. Yeah, but we have raps. We, we had, had Queen Taylor. Latifah. We had, but they're not being pushed mainstream. These people were pushed mainstream. <laughs> Rhapsody is not mainstream. No, she's not. Tierra Whack is not mainstream. No, you're right. She's not. What's on the radio is "fuck me good." I'm scamming you. I'm taking your credit card. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what's being pushed. That's what all the little girls are hearing. Not. How you gonna win when you ain't right within? They're not hearing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm saying we need balance. Yeah. We need balance. And then when you start pushing the prostitution rap, and you push that to other genres that we're trying to break back into and take back, but instead of instead of letting us come back into that genre, we're pushing our prostitution music to that genre. It just doesn't make any sense to me. No. I just think that right now the world is so focused on having a good time that other things are uh, is making us blind to other things. I'm not. That's disagree. purposeful. I'm oh, and I I def I'm not disagreeing with you in mm -hmm. saying that. I'm just saying that that it is what it is mm -hmm. at yeah. this point. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's when it relies on us to make a decision as a people. Mm -hmm. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do it? Mm -hmm. Either we gonna rock with it or we not. Like your decision is, hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bang with it. My decision is, hey, get it sexy, <laughs> get it sexy. You get what I'm saying? I think, 
I think the world is going to be what the world is and things are going to be placed the way that they're going to be placed, whether somebody is a plant or not. I think it all relies on, that's when it becomes our decision and our responsibility as individuals. So we have babies who don't have people who are guiding them. Yeah, that's but, why it's important. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's not important, but what I'm saying is with these <clears> babies <throat> coming into this world, that's why us as individuals have to go and try to transform these minds because what's being shown to the masses is not what we need to know. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We can't, we can't, we can't depend on society to feed our kids knowledge. We have to change yeah. what we're doing and give that to our babies because mm -hmm. we can't count on them. They're not going to do that. They're going to put the sexy reds with a Zach, what's his name? Brian. Brian. Oh, Brian. Zach Brian. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're going to do that. And then, like I said, there are going to be people like me that, that, like to see the ratchet shit because it's entertaining, mm -hmm. but also, but there's not people that, that know what's going on. Some people mm -hmm. just see just that and that's all they know. I just know. got a really great direct comment. Mm -hmm. uh, and, it, and it brings up a good point. The same age group that likes Zach Bryan likes Sexy Red. If she came out on stage with Tim McGraw or Garth Brooks, it would have been completely different reception mm. ah. because of the audience that listens to the older country heads. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. I know. Okay. I still think I mean, it's. I still think it's on purpose. Like <laughs> I, mean, it's still, yeah. right I still okay. think it's on purpose. Yeah. They can be the same age group, but I, I, I saw what happened, and I and I watched these newscasters talk about it, and it made me feel embarrassed as a black person. I'm gonna just keep it real. When I watched that video. And they were all talking about it. The way that they were talking about her, it made me feel embarrassed. So were you embarrassed when Cameron just went and showed his ass on scene? No, no, I'm not embarrassed when Cameron showed his you ass should on be. scene. Did he show his ass? No. I wasn't embarrassed because of that. What? First of he all, that's Cameron. That's he really could have went in. He ain't really go in. in. But he you could just up. tell he that made... they were uncomfortable and they didn't he know how a... to frame he it. And it, it just it, it, I'm like, But why, why ask him about Diddy stuff on CNN? Why? When you sign him up to do something else, yes, too. Exactly. Like, why? No, why? I, I mean, I, I feel that. I feel that, but there still was a... Uh, he could have... It's a way to go about it. It's a way of going it. about it, and he could have pre he could have articulated a better way of saying, hey, this is not what I want to do. But he was taking male per performance enhancement. It was his... It's his stuff. It's his. It's his. It's his. I watch. I I watch. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. So it's his stuff. I get what he was doing. He was branding himself. Yeah. But at mm -hmm. the same time, that's is that the alley he wanted to go, or was he trying to say, hey, this as a black man, don't put me up here talking, trying to down another black man when I can be on something else. He could have. He could have. He that. had. He, he had a platform. He could have said a different. And mm -hmm. had a different way to do what uplift us, not make things a funny way, and do what embarrass us. I, I can agree with that. I can agree he didn't that. embarrass me. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, I thought it was... thought, because it's Cam. I'm so I'm, I've, been, I've been seeing Cam for thirty years do do this do this stuff. But what's the difference between you thinking that what Cam did, even though he could have did it in a different way, mm -hmm. and you thinking it's entertaining and me thinking it's embarrassing, compared to how some people think that sexy red is entertaining? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying to a certain extent, and you thinking it's embarrassing. I don't think that she is embarrassing, and I and I don't think that she's not entertaining. I think what they're doing to her is embarrassing. Got you. Just just yeah. like I was right about Lizzo a couple years ago when I said if Lizzo does not stop, she's going to be tore down. They're going they're going to chew mm -hmm. her up and eat her out. And look at what Lizzo look look at Lizzo now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. I'm seeing the same thing for sexy red. I'm embarrassed of what they're doing to her. Yeah. And, but but I understand that a lot of people don't don't see it. See it they can't yeah, yeah. see it, yeah. but yeah. I can see it. Uh, uh, Renard said he has secondhand embarrassment with Cameron. Though. I told you, Cam but Cameron don't. Hey, Miss no Jesse. Sense. Hey, Miss Jesse. Hey, Cameron don't Ms. got Jessie. no sense though. I'm so used to Cameron, <laughs> and Cameron get on my nerves. So he, I just he, yeah, exactly. he just he gets on no my sense. nerves. So I'm so used to just like brushing him off. And, but uh, at the same sense though, like I just feel like all right, I'm Cameron, and I have a podcast with Mace. Yeah. If you have questions about Diddy. Get Mace. Like, this is nothing I need to be a part of. All right, so since y'all want to... But Mace wasn't even made himself unavailable. Cameron, the, you made yourself available. But that's not what they initially got him to talk about. They didn't get him to talk about Diddy. Yeah, you Like, right. they was talking about... They're supposed to be talking about something completely totally different. Now, the fact that you bring up Diddy and you want to bring... The, all right, since you want to be ignorant, let me be ignorant. Like, that's how I took it. Like, yeah, he yeah. was doing it. Which, it can be bad. 
But at the same sense, like, you're going to get what you get. Yeah. Like, if you giving me that bullshit, I'm going to give you bullshit back. Mm -hmm. I just think it could have been tastefully done. Yeah. It could have been done. Now you said it, it could have been, been done, done different. Even, even I always the, brush him off. Yeah, yeah. Because, it's because, because it's Cam. Because it's Cam. Exactly. But that man was on C and <laughs> motherfucking N. Yeah. But he's done that before. Tell myself I'm that. about to go get some cheeks after this. He did. No, he did. Y'all was the funniest part. Y'all was the funniest part. I was like, what? No, he wild out. He wild out on a Bill O'Reilly show years ago. He's done this before. When he gets pissed. You know why they don't bring rappers on the news? Because when they do, someone like Cameron fucks it up for <laughs> No, they have a lot of rappers on the news. Half of them, they shouldn't be on there. I hate that shit. Stop interviewing everybody. Right. Think that they have a political... We'll they don't be knowing what the hell they're talking about. Yeah, we can go to the next one. The next one is the Diddler. Did he did he or did he dot? Did he do it? I think he did. I think the biggest winner out of all of this is 50 Cent. You know he just sold that documentary, yes. yes. Yep, three Netflix. part series, Netflix, and that should look really good. I All wait. I've seen is the I title. Wait. So, <laughs> so because they don't like to wait until we get into the topic. <laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> the great news is that Fifty Cent just sold his his, <laughs> <laughs> his deal for a three part series. Was it three part series? <laughs> for did he do it? Hold on. You know what? This doesn't feel right. Hold on, let me fix this. Hold on. Uh oh. What is that it? That looks right. That's what why you gotta be oh, behind us? Because that's, that's where Diddy would be. Fix <laughs> 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 your face, Cedric. <laughs> No Diddy. Actually, no. No Diddy. Actually, no. <laughs> Diddy would be in the corner. Watching. <laughs> watching. You know he likes the cuck hole. <laughs> He'd be in the corner watching. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good so one. basically, <laughs> if you've been living under a rock, um, you may or may not know that Diddy has several lawsuits. He mm -hmm. has been accused of egregious behavior from sex trafficking to trafficking minors to domestic violence to um, trafficking drugs through drug mules. I mean, so many different things. Just had two more this past week. Two more lawsuits this mm -hmm. week. I mean, it's you get a lawsuit. You get a lawsuit. <laughs> you get a lawsuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Men, women, everybody coming out the woodwork. Orlando Brown. But what? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Tiffany. Hey, uh, hey, Tiff Love. Also, oh, he's Orlando Brown. <laughs> <laughs> did you see that? Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. Vagina. <laughs> it's my favorite word. Vagina. So Diddy, um. When the raids happen in the house, they think that, they, that that the feds got this tape from the house. We don't know. First of all, what sick person would keep a tape of them beating somebody senseless? But who knows? Anyways, there is a videotape of Diddy assaulting Cassie pretty, pretty bad. I didn't want to put it yeah. on here. Yeah, no. I, I didn't want to put it on here. I think by now everybody has seen it. It's brutal. There's no reason for us to watch it again. Mm -hmm. um, as, you can, as you can remember, he was running down the hallway with a towel. And still was able to assault her. She got into the position of a dead fish, which mm -hmm. if you've ever been abused, you know what that means. That means that she had been abused many, many, many times before. And she knew exactly what to do. That's why you get like that. Because if you've, if you've been through trauma, it takes you back and then you just lie dead. And she did it. So that showed me that she has been through that many, 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 many times. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys also saw the other video that was circulating with her under the cover. While he was harassing her. Did y'all see that one? Yeah, I saw that one when you saying he wanted to go for a run. He was playing a song in the background of a song that she made when she was trying to get away from him about all the trauma she went through. And he was playing the song plus harassing her while she was on the phone on the wow. floor. He's a narcissist. He's wow. crazy. Mm. Crazy. Um, but anyway, so that brought up a big discussion of domestic violence. And in this past week, a lot of people have come out the woodwork saying I have a story too, or this person who's famous abused me, this person who's famous abused me. Some people seem credible, some people we don't know. You don't you don't wanna you don't wanna um attach not, it to this person. Attach it to the person. You don't you don't wanna just say everybody's just like Cassie. We don't know. Right. right. But you wanna believe people. The thing that I wanna ask is, do we really care about domestic violence? 
Mm. Because before the video, a lot of people were making excuses. A lot of people were saying that Cassie was in for a money grab. They needed, they needed to see a video to believe her. Even though if you read the court documents, it was pretty believable. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like some fly-by-night lawsuit. She had so much detail in that yeah. lawsuit yeah, that, was stuff that she went through. you could tell she went through that. But my question is, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and shoot astray. If we really care about domestic violence, then how come Dr. Dre is still walking around like nothing? Mm -hmm. He has been known mm -hmm. to be the bitch senseless. Yeah. For years, this has been going back since I was a kid when he beat up D Barnes. Mm -hmm. This has been going on since all of his ex-wives. Yeah, and no one says anything. All he beat D Barnes in front of people. On camera. Mm -hmm. No one says anything. That, do you think it also has to do with the time? Yes, that was that yeah. was back in the day. That yeah. stuff yeah. was kept hush hush. You know that was I'm different. Saying? But he's being accused now. When he, every time he gets a divorce, they talk about it. Then yeah, no, I'm just I'm just saying with that situation. I think it I think it had to do with the times a little bit, but I also think it doesn't make it okay. I'm nowhere near saying it, yeah. it makes it okay. It's I mean okay. like this, like okay, so Joe Budden has been accused in the past. He said that things didn't happen the way that they happened. They said that they did. Then some people said that no, we made that up. So it's it's very murky. His whole situation is murky. It's, it's been it's been back and forth. Woman. It's more than one woman, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every time domestic violence information comes up or he speaks on it or anything, all that stuff comes back up. Mm -hmm. Every time DV comes up, Chris Brown comes up. Mm -hmm. How come Dr. Dre never comes up? I just don't understand it. Because you know, he got bread. He, unfortunately, that man is paid. I'm not saying that, you know, other people don't have his, his, his money, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, money, money talks. Mm -hmm. And I think in certain situations there and it might not even like be paying off like police officers and stuff like that. These women get beat up and they're like, yo, I'm not doing this no more. I'm going, I got this. I got that. Mm -hmm. He could be. And I'm not saying that this is something, but money talks. So he could be paying these people off. We don't know. That's true. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, just, I just wonder why hip hop picks and chooses. It just seems like we pick and choose. Mm -hmm. I mean, but you brought up Dre. Dre disappeared because he had an aneurysm in 2021. Dre. Oh yeah, he did. He's back now though. Yeah. He donated money to UCLA. He, he disappeared off the scene, but like quick with quickness. Uh huh. And I think when that happened, it was all private. Oh okay. Who, Doctor Dre? Yeah, he had uh, an aneurysm. Yeah, the aneurysm in 2021. Well, Renard said, "Did he pay too though?" Diddy ain't pay somebody. Something Diddy, happened. I, I think Diddy burned a bridge with somebody. Mm -hmm. I think Diddy burned a bridge or something, and they was like, you know, we gonna get it's, this. It's not necessarily just a bridge. It's multiple Plenty. bridges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, all right, so kind of the same thing with Drake. Mm -hmm. So you got all these potential friends, acquaintances, mm -hmm. I'll put it that way, and you around them because it's the business. Mm -hmm. So you build a relationship with them. Might not might be a good relationship, but it's a relationship. Mm -hmm. So now that you have this relationship, once, and I'm speaking about people with money, mm -hmm. once you have that relationship and you can find dirt on somebody. Yeah, that's that's a different type of collab. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, now yeah. you can put people in different positions. Now you got to do something for me mm -hmm. or you can't mm -hmm. do something for me or I'm going to cut this from you and you only can do it if I want you to be in this you know right, right. for for me i feel like diddy was in that type of position <laughs> to take people's lives away from them mm. you know what i'm saying so with him having that so much money so much uh notoriety a mogul mm -hmm. him being able to snatch people's lives away i think puts him in a different stratosphere than the regular joe Smo. Or, yeah you know and i think like i just i don't um i don't know how to say this uh, without sounding like a dick, but it's like <laughs> Dr. Dre, maybe <laughs> Dr. Dre, maybe he just like boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? But I think Diddy is like no, Michelle taking, A. He he rearranged her whole face. Yeah, but ain't Diddy like taking people away from people and selling their pussy across town? <laughs> yes. R. Kelly 2.0. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, that's all I'm saying. I'm, I'm thinking that Diddy got too big for his britches and maybe Dr. Dre stays in the lane. Neither mm. one of these lanes are okay. 
Yeah, I yeah, see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I see what yeah, yeah, I agree. I see, you know what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Diddy done got on his R. Kelly done went to Africa and said, Do you have your shots? <laughs> have your passport? <laughs> Come with me to America. <laughs> like, he cannot be doing that. He can you cannot. And it's once again, it's not okay to you know what I'm saying? Domestic violence is not, it's okay, not okay at okay all. At all. No. At all. But it just it I think Diddy just was going wild. He brought his sons into it. Mm -hmm. They're talking about he possibly was selling his in the process of trying to sell his daughters. Mm. That's crazy. It's a lot going on. CJ said Diddy pissed off the family that owns Ciroc over a liquor deal. Yes, he did mm -hmm. he did get into mm -hmm. something over a liquor deal mm -hmm. and then all his whole world came down. He did. His whole uh, world came down. Wait for the next one, maybe? And then this week, Young Miami unfollowed him. Oh, oh for real? Yes, yeah, she did. Oh, Finally. man. Period. She was the last one. <laughs> she was the last one that was on her side. On his side. Renard said, wait a minute. Is that why he came out with Beats by Dre? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Beats by Dre? He, he did. hilarious. He did. That is hilarious. Hiding in plain sight. Oh, Hiding in plain sight. Lord. Seems like you're ready. I did not put that Lord. together until right now. That's Seems a good one. like you're They hide in plain Yo, sight. That's oh, a good my one. Goodness. Beats by Dre. <laughs> right. You ready to make some bitch? No, there is no next one. This is the last one. Oh, then we're going to go into games. So the, the, so my last question is, do you think that because of what happened and because of the egregious video that we saw with Diddy and because he lied and said that they were lying and he denies all of these things and then he made that bullshit apology later, do we think that now hip-hop is going to take domestic violence serious? Because in the lyrics, it is definitely a lot of domestic violence. It is a, he's not the first. He's not going to be the last. Mm. Do you think that hip-hop is ready to stand up and really take a stand against domestic violence? I say no. Mm -mm. I think it would be nice. It would be beautiful. but I, I say no. I, I say it's just I like agree. the world. Yeah. I think, yeah, and that's it. I think the it's just like the world. The world, yeah. the world has a lot, a lot of people turn the other you know, cheek. Don't they look the other way. What's this, that's what's, just like what Charles... I'm sorry, go ahead. I what's a good stance to take, though? A good stance to take is that it's not acceptable. So all the people that allowed him to do this for years and years and years, mm -hmm. who saw him doing this, mm -hmm. they need to start standing up to these people. But these people have power, so nobody wants to lose their position. True. I'm yeah, just true. talking about morality. Yes. Morality needs to needs to change mm -hmm. when you're when you're seeing this. This went on for all those years, and that girl was helpless. Yeah, and just imagine the people before her, like Kim Porter. Yeah. Right. So. And Misa. <laughs> It's just, he, Misa hid under a, a car from him. People just want to get a check. That's and they King do. Cuddy. And King Cut Kid Cuddy got his car blown up. I mean, then there's a rumor that he held um, Wale off the balcony. Now the rumor is that it wasn't Wale; it was a woman. If you Big Red and what? you hold, you holding a woman over a balcony, they say he Nine acts like Big Red. To five. Not, not Big Red. They say he <laughs> acts like Big Red. Nine to five. <laughs> It's crazy Not out here. Way. The state of the culture is chaotic, but chaotic. 2024 is getting everybody all together. That's all I got to say. So next, we're going to go into our games. Hey, yep. Hey, yep. Hey, yep. Hey, yep. And our first one up is whatever EK puts up. I know you fucking lying. Oh, you fucking lying. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you guys know how to play this game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Send you want to tell them how to play? Yeah, I know you fucking lying. It's basically we go, we're all going to have a subject. We have to say how many things that we know about that subject. Like, let's say the subject is colors. I can say I know 10 colors. Bacon says she knows 50 million thousand. And <laughs> if she says, if I don't agree with the number that she says on that subject, then I call her out. If she can prove herself, I take a shot. If she can't prove herself, she takes a shot. Boom, boom. 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 All right, you want to start, babe? I can start. Okay. I can name all of the colors on the pride flag. How many? How, you... how many? You got to say how many. <laughs> babe. Oh, sorry. Oh, the, oh, I'm sorry. Next. I can name all seven colors on the pride flag. It ain't eight. Yeah, there's nothing you can do with that. <laughs> you got to do another one, babe, because it's already. Uh, wait, wait, no. I know you're fucking. Shut up. <laughs> oh, the, yeah. No. Oh, well, yeah, then I know you're... Yeah. No. No, no. no. 
don't count. I have. I don't know how many is on the on the flag. I just made that up. All right, I'm, it's okay. I know you fucking lying. Go ahead. I hate you. No, I got you. Don't ever let me come to cosplay karaoke. I got I know. your ass. I got you. I'm on your ass. I know you fucking lying. Go ahead. Take your shot. You take a shot. Go ahead and take my shot. I ain't even about it. It's on you, said. When she take her shot. Ek over there, gonna. Um, I know three different types of speakers. Speakers? Oh, mm -hmm. Put something into me. Um, I know four different types of speakers. I know five different types of speakers. Um, no, I know you fucking, fucking lying. DBL, Bose. DBL. DBL. Oh, okay. It's JBL. JBL, baby. I thought that was <laughs> oh <classic>. JBL. <laughs> I thought I thought so, but I just let it ride. I thought that was wrong. I, was like, I didn't I, even see that right there. I was like, I don't think it's a DBL. <laughs> Amazon Echo. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. You got two more though. Size speaker, which is a speaker at our house. Okay. I'll let you have it. Um. <laughs> um, but you got ten seconds. Ten. Nine. I said Bose. iPod. Seven. Beats by Dre. Beats by Dre. Six. <laughs> I got them. All right. <laughs> Ooh, I did that. I, I called you out, didn't I? Yeah. Yep. That was hard. Yeah, on YouTube. <laughs> that was hard. When you said types of speakers, mm -hmm. I was thinking, okay, subwoofer, tweeter, you got the <laughs> range, you got center channel, you got surround sound. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. It don't matter. I was lying anyway. I was but say Bluetooth. I was... <laughs> Bluetooth speakers. I can one. name seven adult swim TV shows. Jesus. Oh, oh shit. Boom. 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 It's my favorite. Adult Swim is on Cartoon Network, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay. Shit, that come on at night. Do, do. The best shit to smoke and watch. Mm -hmm. do, do. Can't got. I don't got. Rick and Morty. Okay. No, Wait, babe. Well, how many do you know, baby? <laughs> oh, I don't know that many. <laughs> I said seven. I, how many? How much have you been drinking? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I said seven, babe. So you, how many? Just. Yeah, she's like, I'm gonna just take a shot. Cedric, you gonna start it. We gonna let my best. South Park, Rick and Morty. South Park Family is on, Guy is on Comedy Central. Something Burgers. Bob's Burgers. Bob Burgers. Burgers. <laughs> you, Futurama. Good one. Mm, that is a good one. How many was that? Three. Cause mm -hmm. South Park don't count. That's Comedy Central. Boondocks. Mm. Boondocks used to yes, be on Adult Swim. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. You right. You right. He can't help me. <laughs> he can't help me. Robot Chicken. <laughs> You're Is that what you was about to say? I can't read it. I can't read it. I couldn't read what he said. Ten. Eric Andre. Nine. Eric Andre. Eight. I'll take this is. shot. <laughs> Seven. Home movies. Six. Home, home movies. movies. <laughs> good one. Home. That's a good one. You haven't seen home no. movies? Oh, what's the one that we watch with the people that I like? It's like the hormones. Oh, you're talking... That's on Netflix, baby. You're talking oh, about the Hormone Monsters? Show. I um, like that show. Uh, what is that shit. one called? Big Not Mouth. Big, Big, Big Mouth. Mouth. But we don't watch Big Mouth anymore. We watch Human Resources. Robot Chicken. I already told you that one. Oh. What's it's the, all right. I'll take a shot. What's the, um... The jump that, uh, got the, like, the cup? And... Aqua Teen Hunger That's Force. Aqua Teen yeah, Hunger Force. Yeah. That's my shit. Master Shake. Fry Lock. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. my shit. <laughs> All right, I just wanted. I'm, I was just trying to get you drunk. It's on you, babe. Okay. I can name five amusement park rides at Kings Dominion. Oh man. I can name six. It's not fair because she knows that I can't. <laughs> <do it. laughs> I can name seven. I know you. I know you lying. fucking lying. <laughs> Rebel Yell, Drop Zone. Rebel Yell's not there anymore. But I'll give it to you. Go ahead. That was one at one point it in time. It changed names, right? It's still there. It just changed names. Mm -mm. Thank gone. you, E.K. It it's gone. Yeah, mm -hmm. they took that that's job. a shame. It was a wooden coaster. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and that's the one that go back That's why I liked yeah. it. Not anymore. But yep. that's what I used to go on. Rebel Yell, Drop Zone, um, the water park. That's, that's, not, a that's ride. not a ride. 
The water slide. But no, nope, that's not, not a ride. ride. You, you can name the name of the ride. <laughs> Rush zone. No. <Nope>. What? <laughs> <laughs> She's talking about the rush zone. What is rush zone? <laughs> What's it called when you stand up and they drop the floor and you in the water? You know, talking about when you're standing up in the clear tube? Yeah, What's it's, that it's one of the slides, but I don't know what it's, it's called. It's not a ride. It's, it's, I don't know. Water park rides are rides. Said the right. cyclone thing is a ride, the twister down. thing. Oh, twister. I should have said that one. But Twisted Timbers. Twisted Timbers. Autumn. I don't know. Diamond Falls. What about Batman? Ain't there a Batman one? No. No. Superman? No. no. Joker? No. No. Not even me. Joker. All right, let's do this last one. Go ahead, Seth. CJ said just take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Period. All right, let's do this last one, Seth. Go ahead. Oh. We can move on to the next game. I know six different types of wine. I know you're fucking lying. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You serious? All right. Um, pink Moscato, regular Moscato. I knew it. I knew it was bullshit. It's all right. Ten. Stella Black. Nine. Stella, Stella Blueberry. Eight. Oh, Stella my gosh. Strawberry. No, he did not. That's crazy. Nine. Stella. No, I Stella need a different Peach. brand. I need a different brand. That's Stop not it. types of wine. Barefoot. Barefoot. Take uh, a shot, Cedric. That's some bubblegum bullshit. Barefoot. You got Cab Sav. You got Sirius. You, you started with Moscato, and then you went to You, you, you got to choose. Uh, all right. Moscato, Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Rizzling. Um, Rizzling. Re yeah, Rizzling. I like mm -hmm. Rizzling. Actually. Ten. Uh, no, five. Uh, Pinot Grigio. Four. Mm -hmm. Good job. That was good. One. Uh, -huh. uh, three. And two. Uh, uh -huh. Take a shot. What's that joke that's Shot. Like the And another one. Cabernet. Cab yeah, yeah, Cabernet. Mm -hmm. yeah. I thought it was Cabaret. No, there's nah. there's Cabernet. <laughs> What's a Cabaret? That's a that's, that's like a, a party. Dance. That's an event, that's yeah. A so it's not oh shit. So wait, what's the ain't it a a wine is C A B A R E Cabernet. Cabernet. Oh, Cabernet. Yeah. Oh, Cabernet. okay. I was about to say. All right, we're ready for the next game. Mm. Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. I do like Sauvignon Blanc. All right, next game. One gets to go. All right, one got to go. One got to go. You cannot shoot. Uh, you want me to explain it or? Yes. Please. All right, one got to go is you get two. We're going to go down the line. You get two options. You can either do one thing or do the other thing. If you can't choose between the two things, you got to take a shot. Mm. All right. Now, babe, oh, I guess we're all going to do it. So not know how to read or not know how to write. So you can read everything, but you can't write shit down. Or you can write shit down, but you can't read nothing. I would rather not be able to write. <laughs> what about you, said? Because now we have something Cedric called voice hard. dictation. And I can just go. I'm going to take a shot. You going to take a shot? <laughs> EK, what would you not know how to read or not know how to write? Not know how to write. I just hire someone. Yeah, you, you can do voice dictation and all kinds of stuff read. now. I need to be able to read. Damn, yeah, I took that shot. yeah, I want to read. Mm -hmm. I want to read. <laughs> I can, like you said, you can tell somebody what they want to say. All right, you ready for the next one? Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you rather live in an igloo or live in a mountain? In a mountain or on a mountain? In a mountain, like you know how an igloo is I like a hill, a but it's made of ice. You'll be in a mountain. Like in a cave on a mountain? Yeah, okay, in a cave or in an igloo? Oh, uh, I'm taking a shot. I don't want to live in either one of those. What about you? <laughs> what about you, Seth? I could live in a cave. Mm -mm. I think I could live in a cave. Mm -mm. I want to... Listen, I know that's where your gut tells you. It's cold. Zero data cell service inside caves. Bats. I don't care. I don't need a phone. There's no TV, no phone, no music. But I'm good. On, but I can make music. If you go outside the cave. It's cold as shit I'm in just the saying, igloo. igloo, you still get segment. I mean, Dude. if you go outside the cave and you go on top of the mountain. You're going to sleep you're on gonna ice? You're going to have all the reception. You're going to sleep on ice? I'm not sleeping no, on ice. No, I'm not sleeping on ice. No. I'm not sleeping in there one of them. Near one? All right. Y'all all right, ready shit. for the next one? No, yes. near no. All right. Would you rather live with Sexy Red or live with Krishan Rock? Krishan all day. Oh, God. What? They're to your be, roommate. To they be, are to be your honest, roommate. I would rather live with Sexy Red than Krishan Rock. <laughs> Roommates. To be honest, roommate, this oh, is your roommate. Dang. Would you rather live with Krishan Rock 
Or Sexy Rick. I'd rather live with, with Sexy Rick. Because Sean Rock... Right now. Her, her, level, her level of maturity just... Is, I feel like that house will be fucked up. I have to take yeah. a shot. I'm so sorry. Sexy Red, that's my girl, but I cannot take that turn up all the time. You know, I feel like... Yeah, but I that's be, a character. She I probably does not so turn up all the time. Just because of people she was bringing through. You like, know? I would have customers. Like, crazy. Yeah. You know what? That's a good one. I choose Sexy Red. I'll choose. That's CJ said, I'm drinking because ain't no way in hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll definitely choose Kashan. Kashan? Sure. Kashan, you're going to have roaches and everything. No, she do not look clean. No, it, it's not about that. It's the situations that she be in that make her look the way that she look. Yeah. What about when she get mad and start throwing shit all over the house? Why well, I need to make her mad? What if she mad at somebody oh, else? Oh, Cedric thinks gotta... he can change her. Oh, look at him. Oh. What if she mad at somebody else? Then we need to talk about it. Cedric, she gonna fuck your house up. <laughs> All right, y'all ready for the next one? Nah, I feel like Sexy Red has already had children and she has a new baby. Krishan, their level of maturity, I would expect Sexy Red to be a little bit more mature. And even with her interviews, she seems a little more mature than than. I'm Krishan. with EK. You never know who Sexy Red will bring through. So that's That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's business. Yeah. yeah. All right, y'all ready for the next one? Mm-hmm. Mm All right, who you letting take you shopping, Diddy or Meek Mill? Ooh. Diddy, me can't got no money. <laughs> but he's gonna make Send the stuff on in front of him. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna make the title on her front. Oh, you, oh, you said Shane. <laughs> Cedric took a shot. Mm -mm. I'm mm -mm. taking. You a wouldn't shot. do a bunny hop either. <laughs> mm -mm. I ain't gonna stop with new one. They gonna be like, ooh, try that on. <laughs> Are y'all ready for the next one? Mm-hmm. You gotta take a shot, right? But you either gonna take a shot of gasoline or take a shot of bleach. Ooh, Neither. You You're dying. <laughs> I watch Law and Order all the time. And Dateline. And Snap. Hey, like, Trump said you can take a shot of bleach. That's what he said. <laughs> That's, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> That's not exactly what he said. Everybody thinks that. All right. Y'all ready for the next one? I love how it turned into just take a shot of bleach, though. <laughs> and the sad thing is that there's probably people who think that. And who really, really, really That's the scariest thing. That's the scary but part. But you know they say when you're trying to, um, never mind. <laughs> Never it's mind. not a shot of bleach, though. It's not a All shot. Right, next yeah. It's so an disinfectant. It was a whole yeah, thing. Yeah, you're right. It's not a whole shot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's history. It's like in the 40s. You got to mm -mm. look that shit up. It's crazy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Either right. way, Trump was talking out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you rather be tall with short arms or short with tall arms? With long arms? <laughs> Yeah, short with long arms. Short with long arms? Either you're going to be short, short with long, long ass arms, arms or would you rather be like, tall with T. Yeah. I'd rather be tall with T Rex arms. Man. Are you no, calling me a monkey, ma'am? Are you. Where did that come from? What? How? Short Where? with long arms. It's very racist. <laughs> you were reaching. <laughs> <laughs> you were reaching. But <laughs> 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 pick one, though. Short with. I'd rather be long neither. Arms. You short with long arms? Yeah, because I, I feel like Cedric, I look, your knuckles are going to drag on the ground all the time. I'm cool with that. I, I'd rather do that and be able to reach stuff from sitting down and be tall and still got to <laughs> stand up and go get that job. Like, yeah. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> but you I still got height. Able to reach. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Y'all ready for the next one? Mm-hmm. All right. Now, this is for the rest of your life now, all right? Mm-hmm. Eat off of a public toilet seat Hmm. And be free, or eat gourmet meals in prison. Gourmet in prison. What type of what? gourmet what type of in questions? Prison? Hold on, who's the talent manager for this? <laughs> <laughs> Who booked this? I'm gonna tell you straight up. If you're eating off of a public toilet seat, the rest of your life is gonna be about six. But you're gonna be free. You're I'm gonna pull be the free. camera. I'm getting some cheeks out of this. Or be free. Or be free. Hey, I'm gourmets in prison, for sure. I don't know. You're going to have to ask people who eat off to toilet seats, because I don't eat off toilet seats. You know what I'm saying? Pick one, Cam. <laughs> Pick none. I took a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I took a shot. <laughs> That's diabolical. That's diabolical, right, for this real. The, this is the last one. You ready? Yes. Get a haircut by a blind man, or go to a record studio with the deaf man. Record yourself at a, rec a recording studio with a deaf man. Oh, that deaf man in the recording studio, mm -hmm. for sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Without, without a doubt. But then you're wasting your money. Wait. Time to take a no, shot. No, no. Deaf people can feel vibrations. Yeah, they can feel vibrations, man. You'd end up with something really rhythmic. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. What EK said. <laughs> Alright, I'll try this deaf man with you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm drunk, man. so I'm not gonna do what I wanna do right now. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Flash forward to like two years from now, Sims releasing an album, all the tracks are produced by a deaf man. <laughs> <laughs> I just right, want y'all to feel last. it. I want y'all to feel it. Alright, next game. <laughs> that was the last one. I think those were good. Those, those were good. good. <laughs> that was a good one. Good those job, Sim. Thank you. Alright, this one's a new one for me. You're gonna have to explain this one to me. This one's a new game. New game. This one is spit it out. Spit it out. No diddy. Spit it out is our engineer is gonna give us a word. Oh, thank you. And <laughs> somebody, oh, somebody's gonna explain the game. I just need 30 seconds because I got the perfect tool for this. Oh, you're good. Oh, yes! <laughs> So the game is basically we're gonna be given a word and we have to sing a song that has that word in it. So yeah, if or it was it has the, the, or in the title too. In the title, hmm. well, first couple of lines of the song, right? No, it, the word has to either be in the title of the song or have to be in the song. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, for example, if the word was hurry, then you could say can't hurry, love. Oh, you just have to wait. Yeah. Or yeah. rush, rush, hurry, hurry, love. You gotta perform me. at least two bars. Yes. At least two bars. At least two bars. <laughs> All right. I wanna see. I wanna see you get free. Hey, with nobody me. knows that song. <laughs> That's Paula Abdul. She had a hit back in the day. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> She been trying to give me. She made song music back day. in the day. All day. Rush, <laughs> rush, and it had Keanu Reeves in the in the video. I remember. All right. Do you remember that video? I do remember Thank you. That. <laughs> it had Keanu Reeves in the video. Okay. All right. You you want to start? Me? Uh huh. Okay, I'll start. All, All right. right. Come here. Your first word is ma. 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 Oh. You got Dear mama. I was oh, about, I was about to say. Good oh, shit. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> Dear mama. When I was young, me and my mama had beef. Seventeen years old, kicked out on the streets. Back at the time, I never thought I'd see a face. Ain't a woman alive that can take my mama's place. Hey, yup. Hey, yup. All right, so you said. All right. Sugar. Ooh. Ooh. Sugar. Sugar. Glad twenty seconds. Uh, brown sugar. Sing it. You got to sing your two. Let me tell you about this girl. Maybe I shouldn't. I met her in Philly in the name of Brown Sugar. Let me make it up. Hey, look. Honestly, that's the part I was going to do. That's the part that I was going to do. I was like, I don't think that's going to work. I got you. I got you. Brown Sugar is a good one. That was a good one. All right. It's on you, EK. Brown Sugar. Because I'm not going to just. Yeah. I mean, not on you. Old. Mm. Mm. This old man, he played too. He just want to get on my shoe and a knickknack. Change, change, change the lyrics, though. Change the lyrics, though. It was good, though. I'll say it. It was good, but you changed the lyrics. I don't, I don't know. This old man, he smokes crack. <laughs> 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 Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. This old man, he smokes crack. <laughs> He's just sitting down there with his knickknack. <laughs> she just changed the lyrics. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't think of old. This one you said. Variation. Right. Oh, take the it. The name of a dance. Cha Cha Slide. Two bars. Two bars. Cha Cha. Crisscross. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> clap their hands. Turn around. Can you go down low? Can you go to the floor? Oh, hey, hello, kids. Charlie Brown. All right, it's on you, Sid. Right. Like, can you bring it up slow? <laughs> that was my part. An internal body part. Any body part. Internal. Internal or inside. So heart. You get uh, your heart. You get yeah. heart. Oh. You help me. Oh, well. <laughs> Crying out for me. Can you? I can't see it. Uh, my heart belongs baby, to you. Baby, can you feel it? Um, hold on. Let me oh, think of one. Let me I think didn't mean one. to do that. Because y'all giving me all these songs. <laughs> um, but you got twenty. You got less than 20 seconds now, Cedric. I can't play with you. Um, I mean, you, you already gave me answers. 
So you, so are you going with that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. But I wanted to think of another one too. Okay, but I'm gonna give you. So inside seconds. organs, um. You got 15 seconds. Contestants, no. And we, I'm not giving Cedric um, no more. Yeah, we're not giving you any more hints, buddy. Um, no more, buddy. Um, Heart is easy, by the way. That was the easiest Three, one too. Two. Uh, Lil it's Wayne. The Lil Wayne plantositis. I mean, planta. Plantositis. How you say the word? What? Planta. Uh, plantositis. Your foot. The, that's still on the yeah. outside. Oh, that's the outside. <laughs> all right, right here. We're ready. That's all you, big, big dog. All right, Sin. Yeah. A military reference. Oh, that's Whoa. easy. Who? Oh. Good God, God, God. God, what is it good for? Good. Absolutely nothing. Say it again. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I was going to be like, I'm a no limit soldier. Hey. I thought I told you. Hey. <laughs> That's All a right, okay, we're ready for bonus. <laughs> All right. Wonder. Oh, wonder. Oh, let me start it. Wonder. And I wonder. There's Just something and you I forgot. Wonder. You bah, bah, bah. know how hard I've been my whole Damn life. And I wonder. Right? Yes, no. It may Why is it in my head? I can't sing it. It's Kanye, John. It's Kanye. Mm, mm, I definitely mm, made those mm, lyrics mm, up, though. Mm. That was not right. But that's how you go. And I wonder. I don't if, know. But take a shot, if there, baby. You know, no, put my time on. I already did. You, you failed. Who wrote the book? Oh, of love? The, oh the, yeah, the timer the went out, one? baby. It's time to take a shot. You know what? You know, all I kept thinking was the Wonder Years theme song. That's all I oh, kept thinking about. But, but this, the word well, is not in it. Friends. Yeah, but the word is not in it. But it counts because it's the Wonder yeah, Years theme song, yeah, though. I was about to say, well, it's in the yeah, but the song was called a Little Help for My Friends. Help for My Friends is the name of the song. Yeah. Oh, it's the name of it. Okay. I kept thinking of it. I was like, but it doesn't have it. That's why Adam said Wonder Years theme song. All right, it's on you. Uh, we're gonna do what? We're gonna go down the line one more time? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Hmm. So you want it? Alright, Seth. Birds. Birds. 15 Birds. seconds. What happened to that boy? <laughs> <laughs> That's a That's bird a sound. One. That's a bird but sound. But it was by Birdman. Well, nah. I mean, it was well, by Birdman. He, promo- he produced it, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he yeah. produced it. He was up there somewhere. Yeah. I will we'll let you have that, Cedric. <laughs> all right. That's it. Yeah, it's me. Emotion. Oh. Of Emotional all the homies, damage. Yes, I am hopeful, but today make what? this music. Ain't it called emotional? What are you talking about? Make this music you and music. Coach Carter. Man, it take you away. Oh, it's called hopeful. Oh, yeah. hopeful. I'm saying. No, hopeful. it's just it's emotion. It's taking me over. That's not, that's not what I was going to do. What's a man to do when he just can't take no more? Oh, emotional. What's a man to do when you're going to walk out the door? <laughs> so emotional. Yeah. So we both shall You got a point for that one. Mm-hmm, you did. You like did. I can't let go. All right, this last one. Go ahead, baby. Last right. round, ready? Mm-hmm. Precious. Ooh, 15 seconds. Precious? That's a good one. Um, Precious? Oh, I think it's Stupid, that bitch. That's all I think about. Look, I was just about to say, that's all I think about. It's a movie, like, a person, like, that's all I think about. Uh, I yeah. can't think of nothing with Precious. Um, the thing is, like, I'm not even being, I'm, like, I should be harder on Mona because she's got the biggest uh, yeah. uh, catalog of, of music. Yeah. So I should, but I'm not even being hard on her. I'm just picking, like, random words from Oh, her. that was a good one. Precious, Precious is hard. Precious is, is hard. hard I can't think of but, a song. But that was just, that was just luck of the draw. Like, that's the, that's the card I pulled. I oh, yeah, yeah. Heaven I'm not even must have sent you from, from above. Damn. Heaven must have Too sent late. your precious love. Damn. Damn. Um, that was close. That was still good, I though. I still couldn't remember one. I couldn't one. think of one for yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all ready for next game? That's impressive. Y'all ready for next game? All right, next game. Next, last game. Let's go. I'm getting pretty drunk, guys. <laughs> <laughs> just letting y'all know. Just let y'all. I'm gonna throw the disclaimer out there now. Let me just go ahead and let y'all know what's happening. Hey, listen, y'all. I know this has never happened before, but I think I've gotten drunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
The price is right. This hey, is put me on TV. This is YouTube. So this um this is between you two guys. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Basically the price is right. It's just like the price is right. We're gonna put a picture of something up there. You're gonna have you can do a range of what you think it costs. If you get it right, you take a shot. If you mm -hmm. get it wrong, you don't. I mean, I if you get the person, it right, I thought the you person who's closest to the I thought the person who's closest to the right price doesn't take a shot. The person who's farthest away takes a shot. Takes a shot. All yeah. right, let's do that. Yeah. yeah. Wait, do you know the prices, or did you just? I, me I no, I know the prices. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm not playing. Okay. All right. First item. Yep. yep. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, yep. Just want to throw that out there. Hey, yep. Hmm. Two eighty-five. 160. Mona. Take a shot? No, Mona, you got it. <laughs> Cedric got to take a shot. How much is it? They're between three and 500. Mm. Damn. Them ugly things. I know, they right? Just <laughs> they just dropped. Um, I, I, I really want those. <laughs> those are ugly. I don't like them. <laughs> I really want these. But I don't like gum soles like that. All right, y'all ready for the next one? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Next one. We gotta play this game again. Yeah. I just gotta do more slides. I just did. I was going quick. All right. Ooh. What is this? This is everything. That's everything. It's a six piece set. Is that Balenciaga? What is that? Let's see it's I not. Oh, no. What name I, brand is it? I, it's not Balenciaga. It says like Mead bags or something. Something. Oh, okay. Six piece set. I'll zoom in on the logo. I'm gonna say five fifty. No, me and Sage, me and Sage, okay. I'm not familiar uh, with that brand. Me, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said 550. Timu. The stitch, stitching looks a little Timu-ish. <laughs> All right. Okay, can you zoom out one more time so I can see? Sorry, I'm about to put a timer because y'all want to play. <laughs> y'all got 15 seconds. That's 150. That's 150? Mm-hmm. Take a shot, baby. That thing is 599. Oh, I was right. For I was all close. six pieces. I was close. For I all six pieces. 50. That is Timu. <laughs> I said 550. I, I know my Timu prices. <laughs> <laughs> was it Timu? It was really Timu, yeah. I know that's my it's really price. like it's like yeah, that's like six dollars. This shirt look. This next one makes me mad just because I know it's gonna be more expensive than it should be. Oh yeah, Celine. Okay, Celine T-shirt. Eighty-five. Fifteen ninety-five. I'll say three thirty. Cedric, take your shot. It's between five and seven hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. What is a T-shirt? <laughs> mm -hmm. Jesus Christ! You said how much? Between five. Um, actually, the shirt is like five eighty-five, and that's before tax. Crazy. I will make you that shirt right now. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ready for the last one? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, it's the last one. All right, last one. I like this game. I like it too. I'll do too. Last one. I'm going to say... That's Timu. Yeah, because I've seen it before. <laughs> Y'all can see it? <laughs> no, but we just know our, we know our tribe. I'm a, I'm a, Hold on. <laughs> Oh, my family. Hold on. Is that a teammate? I think so. <laughs> Not a teammate from Timu. <laughs> but this, a this, a T -T. <laughs> this look a little, little upscale-ish, though. It is. That's probably like 25. I say, tw yeah, I say 30. You say 25? Mm -hmm. And you say 30? 30? Mm -hmm. And this is, is this a Timu thing? Yes. Yes. I didn't tell y'all any of that. No, I, we can tell. Y'all can tell. Okay. So 25 and 30. this here. Psychedelic Forest. All you right. couldn't see the brand before. I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my... what is it? Twenty. <laughs> Cedric is right. This shirt is like seven dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> but it's not Timu. It's Sheen. Oh, shit. Shit. same shit. Same, same shit. Same shit. I still, I still shop. <laughs> I still shop. And that was the prices, right? We only did four pictures this time. Woo! <laughs> That was a definitely a fun game. Good job, son. So, yeah. you guys have to tune in next week. We have a Pride episode coming up. We're going to be sharing some different stories. We'll only have one straight 
person in the on the panel, which and is I've got Cedric. Questions. I'm coming. And he'll have some out. questions. <laughs> Everyone else will be part of the LGBT community. Sorry that I don't have the pluses and all the other stuff going plus, on. Plus, 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 We're gonna talk about that too. We're gonna LGBT. Talk, not that I'm trying to leave them out. It's just I sometimes ain't. it's easier for me plus. to just to say LGBT. It's, or it's you no, it's no like hate. The, but the elemental B crew. <clears throat> yeah, no, the alphabet crew. The alphabet yeah. crew. Alphabet yeah, there we game. go. Alphabet crew. Big yeah. L in this bitch. First letter, not the last one. Let's go. So make sure y'all tune <laughs> into that. Also, Sin Living, do you want to talk about the shirts we have? Hey. hey. Yeah. I just got to let y'all know that A-Yup a -yup is dropping this Thursday. A Yup is dropping this Thursday. Come get your mindset teased. Y'all already know that A Yup is an expression of love and enlightenment while we support mental health as we support people as they're changing their past, whoever has not made it along their way. I I always try to get it out and I fuck it up, but no, I almost got it. Hey, look, it. I was about to say you did good that time. <laughs> I was about to say, hey, hey, you've been practicing. I've been practicing. <laughs> Good, but yeah, y'all go ahead and check out your AOTs. They are dropping this week. Hey, yep. Hey, yep. Yep. And as always, y'all remember that y'all can send in music to um, be reviewed to my email address, Mona Brown 1799 at gmail.com, hey. or to any of our DMs. You can send it to us. Yeah. And we will review your music live on the podcast. Hey, yeah, so yep. all of y'all that keep telling me. Yo, I want to put my music on the show. Go ahead, send that John in. We gonna get y'all on here. Let's get go. You on there there you go. There you go, right there. Just go ahead and send it in to us, and we will review it live on the show. Hey, yep. Thank you so much for tuning in to us this week. Sorry again about us being late. We did not mean to do that, but the, sometimes the computers be giving us a hard time. Okay. We hope everybody has a great week this upcoming week. Yeah, for everybody sure. Everybody stay safe. Hey. And peace. Peace, peace. Hey. To the motherland.